Warning. You are entering the territory far from your safe space. You must turn back now, or you will become informed. Go. Now. A man had to think fast when burglars were carrying an armful of loot out of his neighbor's house. Also in the news tonight, an argument taking a dangerous turn when gunshots ring out. The victim rushed to the Wait, hospital. Your help identifying four young men seen on surveillance video leaving an apartment complex in southeast Atlanta. I don't like the criminals. We need to clean it up. I can't believe somebody would do that in broad daylight. The whole struggle, I just constantly kicked him. He put his hand over my mouth a couple times. I bit him, but I tell you, I got him when good. When they come from the start, they iced. I see the police on. He then car. began shooting and causes chaos in the parking lot. I just fought with all that I knew how to do. That was it. I don't like the criminals. We need to clean it up. We need to clean it up. We need to clean it up. Damn! Now you too, now censored. You too, now you too, censored. Now you too, censored. I'm mad as hell right now. Yes, I am. Your discretion is advised. Mama Black. This program contains language and sequences some viewers may find disturbing. A man had to think fast when burglars were carrying an armful of loot out of his neighbor's house. Good evening, I'm Joe Burch. And I'm Kanji Anthony, WMC Action News 5's Janice Burch is live with a big piece of evidence that police want you to take a look at tonight. Janice. Well, the crooks were so casual, it looked like they were in their own house, taking their own property out, putting it in a stolen car, their stolen merchandise. Take a look at the video shot by a neighbor. You can see two guys going into this house in the airport area in the middle of the day. One of them walks out with a big speaker and casually puts it in the back of the car as his pants fall down. He looks over at the neighbor, gets in the stolen car, and leaves. Pretty bold. The homeowner, Jose Benyeas, knew there was a problem when he returned from the store. When they come in from the store, they, I, I see the police on my parking. The crooks got the speakers, a TV, and Benyeas' laptop. Does it make you angry? Mm, yeah, sometimes, but not too much. Benyeas is somewhat resigned to the fact that he was victimized because he says thieves seem to troll the street, something neighbors confirm. I don't like the criminals. We need to clean it up. One thing Benyeas does have on his side is his neighbor who recorded the burglary. My neighbor called the police, and the police... Uh, I uh, find the, the car close to uh, one store. And it had Benyeas' property in it. He hasn't gotten it back yet. Now take another look at the crooks. Do you recognize them? I asked Jose Benyeas if he wanted them to go to jail. You show is ugly. <laughs> yeah. Want them to go to jail? Yeah. All right, now I wanted to talk with the neighbor who recorded that burglary, but he was not at home. If you know who those suspects are, call Crime Stoppers at 901-528-CASH. Live, Janice Broach, WMC Action News 5. Also in the news tonight, an argument taking a dangerous turn when gunshots ring out. The victim rushed to the hospital. It happened in front of a restaurant and lounge. Now the search for a shooter is on. The night team's Franklin White reports from North Miami. I can't believe somebody would do that in broad daylight. It's ridiculous. Terrifying video caught from this surveillance camera shows the moment leading up to a shooting outside the sale restaurant on Northwest 119th Street early Saturday morning in North Miami. I want to see this community grow and we don't need things like that, that negativity. In the video, you can see an argument and a man emerged from the crowd, go back to his car and come back with a gun. He then began shooting and causes chaos in the parking lot. He then runs back to his car and pulls away in this Honda element. You want to, you know, be in an environment of positivity. You want to be around people who are trying to grow and expand. And that's not what we need in this community. The victim seen here shot multiple times, sitting on the sidewalk before paramedics rushed in and airlifted him to the hospital. And after those bullets went flying and hit that nearby victim, you can still see the damage left behind in nearby cars. Police immediately beginning their investigation, looking for any clues that could lead them to the shooter. And as they do that, nearby business owners are still shaken up, hoping this video can help track down the suspect and bring peace back to their community. We have to really turn to God and do better. If you know where the suspect is, you have to call Miami-Dade Crime Stoppers at 305-471-TIPS. Reporting in North Miami, Franklin White, 7 News, 19...
For information tonight on a deadly stabbing inside a home in Monroe, this is in Union County, 25-year-old Amana Evans has now been charged with the murder of 50-year-old David Evans. Deputies say that the call came in just before noon today on Sierra Chase Drive where they found David Evans suffering from an apparent stab wound. Neighbors say it's normally a very quiet neighborhood. The grandmother was extremely upset and um, she was crying that somebody had been killed. One of them died and she was so upset and my husband ran down there and you know tried to, tried to comfort them. The sheriff's office has not yet shared the man and woman's relationship who shared or share rather the last same last name. Off the top of this special edition of 7 News, danger on the job. A man badly burned, the victim of a scalding splash. Cameras rolling as a woman throws a cup of piping hot liquid in his face. Police responding with cold steel handcuffs. Andrew Dimbert is in Davie with the painful details. I was in shock. I crouched down and felt my skin sizzling. Caught on camera, a woman said to be a disgruntled employee burns her boss with boiling water. Right after this and then, and my face just started burning, which I thought it was acid at some point because it just kept sizzling. Claudio Salcedo is the manager at this truck stop off 595 in Davie. Friday afternoon, he says one of his employees, John Dre Thomas, caught him off guard, tossing scalding hot water right in his face. Call me by surprise said those words and threw the water. What, what were those words? Uh, you've been trying to get rid of me. Salcedo says Thomas was upset about a meeting she had with him and two other bosses about her work when she stormed off. That's when Thomas caught up with Salcedo outside and hit him with the hot water. All I remember her just uh, saying, so you've been trying to get rid of me. And immediately after uh, the boiling water came to my face, Salcedo managed to restrain Thomas for a short time, but she was able to leave. Later arrested at her home nearby, according to police. We're with 7 News looking for Ms. Thomas. We tried to talk to someone at her home, but were turned away. As for Salcedo, he suffered second-degree burns. The scars could be permanent. But despite the trauma and disfigurement, as he heals, he hopes his attacker will turn her life around. God bless her. And, you know, hopefully, you know, one day she'll find Jesus. And Thomas, meanwhile, was charged with aggravated battery. We're also told she was promptly fired. Reporting in Davie, Andrew Dimber, 7 News. Need your help identifying four young men seen on surveillance video leaving an apartment complex in southeast Atlanta. Now, police say one of them assaulted a woman as she was taking her groceries into her home at the Ashley apartment complex off Bell Street. Well, that's what we find Fox 5's Natalie Fulce tonight. And Natalie, the woman actually fought back. Yes, she did. And actually, surveillance cameras captured the four young men darting through this gate after going through the uh, parking lot. And I spoke with Natalie Robinson, the victim in this case, and she said she did everything she could to keep her attacker from getting inside her apartment and hurting her any more than he already did. Now, you can take a look at this surveillance video, the one that I was telling you about, and you can see the four young, young men on the screen. Robinson says this was seconds after one of them physically assaulted her. She says it was just before six. It was still light out when the incident happened. She was bringing her bags up to her apartment and reaching for her keys when one of the young men rushed towards her, grabbed her, then put his hand over her mouth. Through the whole struggle, I just constantly kicked him. He put his hand over my mouth a couple times. I bit him, but I tell you, I got him good. So he was hurt when he, when he left. I was between the kicking and biting down on his pinky finger like a dog with a bone. That was the highlight for me that I did get him. I didn't break. It, there was no blood or anything, but um, I just fought with all that I knew how to do. That was it. Robinson says she wanted to share her story to make others aware that things like this can happen to anyone at any time, at any place. She hopes that this will bring this to light. Reporting live in Atlanta, Natalie Fultz, Fox 5.
Don't forget to visit our BitChute page for exclusive videos. If you would like a shout out, or a dedicated video, send links to crgladden at eintel.net. As always, thank you for watching. If you like this video, please consider subscribing. Also, follow us on the usual media for more and interesting information like this. Channel moderators are Juzak and Michael Thomas. Thanks for your dedication and hard work. Fight their asses!